And he looks so young. <laughs> now he looks so like him. They just fucking suck the life out of you. I don't know how like people want to be president sometimes. It's gotta be such a... Dude, I think it takes a special kind of crazy person to want to be president. Don't you I think, think? I think you kind of have to In this to be day and age? I, th I, I still have rose-colored glasses for Obama, where I felt like he's gonna like, change the world, and then he got in there and everyone was like, you can't do shit, and he's like, aw. <laughs> really, you think he did that? <laughs> yeah. He's, he's friends with a lot of fucking ugly people too. Well, I He's a politician. Know. He got blocked pretty hard ever since year three. So now I just feel like he's there. And now I feel like he's just tired. Like he's ready to go back to the public life <laughs> and be an ex-president. Yeah. But he still has a year and a half. So he just knows he can't get anything done I with the Republican say, Congress. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't say that, man. A lot of things he did were just things that he said he wasn't going to do. Which, oh, In I mean, terms of like war, well, fiscal yeah. policy. I mean, none of the bankers went to jail. I was under his watch. He didn't fix any That's of it. True. Things have actually gotten looser and worse. The bubble's gotten bigger under his watch. <laughs> he has done the exact opposite of what he wanted to do, other than the little healthcare thing, which even the healthcare thing was a farce because he said he didn't want to give more power to insurance companies, and that's exactly what he wanted to do. He so capitulated. What the, so what the fuck did he do? He got the ball rolling on the healthcare thing, and uh, I don't think so. It's fucking sustaining or it's subsidizing poor decisions and poor health. That's what it's doing. <laughs> that's the healthcare problem in America. It's fucking people aren't taking good care of themselves. We've talked about that on the we podcast. Did. We did. Right? Yeah. Fuck Don't you, you, Rodney. You agree with that. You agree with me on that. A little bit, but I still think that, you know, some things they did in healthcare law were good. You can literally take care of people. Like, pe we could change that in a year. In less than a year, people could get healthy in this country. It doesn't take that long to get healthy. You can fucking do it in a few months. I mean, these people are It just takes bad. dedication. <laughs> it just takes, it takes a little dedication. I don't know. And some backbone. People that, you know, need new hips and knees and that's what this country that takes needs a while. Though. It needs people to fucking just be like, hey, we all need to fucking work harder. Oh my God. I saw um, an article about like how fat most of our cities are. And I, I mean, I'm fat too. Don't get me wrong, but. It's just some of the pictures you see, you're just like, good God. Like, how do you get to some of the level that people get to when they're that obese? You give up. I guess so. And you're eating but, like it's a drug. Food can become a drug. That's true. A food can become a crutch just like anything. It is a can. thing. Yeah, if you get depressed. Some people just fucking gorge themselves. I eat because I'm depressed. I'm depressed because I eat. It's definitely <laughs> like, people definitely do that. That's I mean, true. That's especially true. with comfort that's food, really greasy, fucking like, wah, 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 wah. No, it's true. It's or sweets. True. People are like, oh, give me all that cake and ice cream. Whatever it is. Good God. Or both. Fried, we're going to get a 12-piece bucket of fried chicken, eat all that, and get a gallon of ice cream and all that. It's like, ooh. Here's a weird thing to think about. In a theoretical apocalypse where there's a food shortage, Yeah. they're the ones that are going to survive the longest, right? And it no, probably be them. not. <laughs> they probably won't survive. So. It would be the kind of ironic twist to be like, oh, the most unhealthy people will live to see the food come back or whatever. I think who would survive in that are hunters. Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> like, I just had an awful thought of like they start eating the the, <laughs> the fat people. Yeah, cannibalism if necessary. I'm sure that would happen. <laughs> it would yeah. definitely happen. Yeah. If there's nothing left, we'd definitely eat each other. I'm like I w I would like to think I'd have self control not to do that, and I'd be like, all right, I'm gonna go fucking hike to a mountain, drive to a mountain with crazy snow, or go surfing on the biggest wave I possibly can and die. Yeah. There's nothing else to do, like, <laughs> we're all gonna starve to death. Like, 